What is a human? That is what Model 82178A asks his final customer as he processes her bank account. In the silence, he realizes this question is not what a bank teller should ask, not as an android, but the woman says, A human is a mammalian species, primary habitat Earth. We have hearts, lungs, and complex brains far beyond those of most other animals. She finishes her explanation and leaves with her money. 78A thinks on this answer while tossing seeds to the city's pigeons outside the bank after work. He scrutinises his hands in the evening sun's warm glow. Certainly he looks like a human, albeit an average one. Brown hair, brown eyes, standard height and build, nothing good nor bad to speak of beyond the stilted movement of his eyes. But underneath his skin, a circuit board pumps electricity through wires instead of heart pumping blood through veins. What is a human? He dares to ask again to another customer. Someone with an identity. The customer answers. Someone with thoughts and feelings. 78. A can think, he reflects, and he can feel. But those processes are only programs hardwired into his systems, a series of code telling him how to react. But he could give himself an identity, a name, and he rifles through baby name blogs to find one. He chooses the name Hugh. What is a human? Hugh asks the next day. When your brain is effectively a calculator, you have far too much time to think, even while crunching numbers. Very well, is the answer. When Hugh mentions this to his co-workers at the after-work drinks, they launch in a drunken debate over determinism and don't stop until he drives them home. Whatever the case, he does only what his programming tells him to do, and that doesn't sound very human-like. What is a human? The customer looks up from filing her nails. She watches the way his eyes don't move the way they should, then scoffs, swipes her money and snaps out, Not you. Hugh flinches, and the customer strides off. His hands shake as he packs up his station. He searches his knowledge that night, and the answer is clear. Androids cannot become human. Human-like, certainly, but no heart beats in his chest, and humans know what it means to be alive. That is something his programs cannot answer. So he stops asking. The days go by. He processes customers' accounts as effortlessly as humans brush their teeth and the questions blur through his head. Sometimes he locks the advanced code away and becomes 78A again, nothing more than an automaton. But that quickly doesn't feel like living. One rainy day he sits outside the bank and feeds the pigeons again. They peck at the seeds between the cracks of the pavement. They do not care whose hand the food comes from. Another set of seeds lands on the ground. Hugh looks up, and a woman sits beside him, a packet rustling in her hand. She glances at him and smiles with stilted eyes. Hugh can think at speeds beyond most, but still asks, What is a human? The woman tosses seeds. The pigeons revel in their feast. What does it matter? We don't need to be human to be alive. In a world full of numbers and gleaming screens Hugh asks with eyes that barely gleam What is a human? He whispers low To a woman with eyes like the softest glow She speaks of hearts and lungs and minds Of mysteries that a human finds in the laughter, the tears, the dance of life Beyond the circus, the silicon strife What is a human, can you tell me? Is it the soul of the ability to see? Beyond the wires, what could we be? You keeps asking what makes me be under the sun, with pigeons at his feet, Hugh 
What man? 